Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Bob's Workshop. I wanted to give you an update on the status of my table saw. Now, if this is the first time you've been to my channel, let me give you a little bit of story. I was working on a project last week when this saw blew the breakers, the motor quit, and the saw basically was dead. So I tore everything apart and got everything cleaned up and I took the motor over to a repair shop. Well, there's some bad news. The motor, unfortunately, cannot be repaired. The coils were totally fried and that could be rewound. That would have been no problem. But when the motor shorted out, it actually shorted the rotor as well and can't repair the rotor. So the motor is effectively dead. So now I have a table saw with no motor. So I'm in the process now of searching for a new motor to see if we can get this saw back working. Otherwise, the option's going to be to be looking for a new table saw. So if you guys have recommendations out there on which is the best table saw to be able to purchase, let me know down in the comments below. And if I get a new motor and be able to get the saw fixed, I'll keep you informed on that as well. But as of right now, the projects that I'm going to be working on are all going to be without the use of a table saw. So it should be an interesting few weeks as I work through this problem to try to be able to get something back workable and have a table saw again in the shop. So for now, no table saw, motor's dead, looking for a new one, and possibly a new table saw. Now the saw itself is ready to go. I had completely greased everything, cleaned up everything, ordered a new switch for it, bought a new saw blade. I mean, I am really ready to be able to put this back together. So hopefully we'll be successful in finding a motor for this saw that's literally over 50 years old. And if we can get a motor for it, we'll be able to have this thing put back together. Now this is an old model 66 Powermatic table saw. The only good thing about it from doing the research and reading, basically there was nothing changed on this saw for close to 50 years, which I find rather remarkable in itself. But locating a motor that will actually fit the housing and fit onto this saw has proven to be a difficult task. Now at this point, the company that was rebuilding or attempting to rebuild the motor is searching to see what they can find and I'm doing some looking like as I well. Said, I just want to give you a quick update on this. And I do have some other videos that I'm working on that I'll be able to post in the next few days. So for now, on this real short little update, thanks a lot for stopping by.